Hey, 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 Sagittarius. How's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. If this is your reading, Sag, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, so let's jump right in your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you. What do you need to know? I'm available for personal love readings should you guys need one um quick announcement i will be <laughs> i will be getting rid of my personal reading soon and just focusing on my two youtube channels um so if you want to book a reading i encourage you to do so um sooner than later okay so let's jump right in sagittarius let's see what is going on for you guys what is the challenge for sagittarius in love All right, the challenge for you guys, Sagittarius, is the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, there could be a commitment that you're working toward. Some of you guys, you want stability. You may be wanting a commitment like a relationship, exclusivity. Some of you guys, you may want um, marriage, right? So there could be someone here that you're building. I'm hearing building blocks, building a foundation, something solid, family structure. Okay, that's something that you're working toward right now. Now, the current energy... Seven of Swords in reverse, the Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So Sagittarius, I feel like there's a very strong energy of, you know, wanting more of this person, right? That overindulgent energy with the Nine of Cups. There's something that you want, you want more of. This is your person. Um, it could be a person's energy as well. There's some kind of wish or fulfillment regarding this person. And it's the energy of trying to figure them out, okay? A lot of you guys, you may be questioning some things. You may be trying to find out information about them. What's going on with them? Why are they not communicating? Why are they not reaching out? There's something about you feeling as if they're not working and doing much to move this forward okay the, the seven of swords could be the energy of strategy um but someone here you may feel as if they're not strategizing enough or they're not planning or they're not um you know doing enough you know the page of swords is just like very small amounts of communication okay i feel like there's something you want more of okay with regard to this connection I also feel like there could be someone that you feel is a little bit selfish, okay? Maybe you feel like they're, they're acting in a very selfish way. There could be something that you're uncovering with the Page of Swords. Maybe you're finding out the truth about the situation, something they haven't been telling you. The Seven of Swords could also be that sneaky behavior, lying, cheating, going behind your back and doing something, right? So give me the recent past. The judgment in the verse, we have the queen of wands and we have the world in verse. This is your energy, Sagittarius, right? In a recent past, I feel like you had to stand in your power, right? You had to speak your truth. You had to stand up for yourself, be confident. Um, there could be a decision that was made that I feel like wasn't really entirely final. Maybe you were going back and forth on this decision. It's telling me that something here, um, you know, wasn't moving in the right direction in fact you may have felt you needed to make a decision because something just wasn't happening there were a lot of delays a lot of misfortunes a lot of setbacks okay the world in reverse okay and i think that you wanted more with that queen of wands energy let's see what's in your energy right now we have the five of pentacles ten of cups and we have the three of swords in verse a lot of you guys you're hurting you're overcoming maybe a difficult ending a separation a breakup maybe there was a third party here there's something about you feeling left out feeling abandoned feeling this person hasn't put you first you're feeling left out in the cold there's the energy of feeling like do you even care about me you know do you even see me do you even still want me am i even a thought in your mind you know and so the ten of cups is that you're really striving for your ten of cups your happiness your harmony your you know to find joy back in your life um but this could be a struggle for you right now sagittarius because there's something that you're having to heal from recover from let go purge okay Cut ties with with the three of swords now in the foundation you're not aware of is the three of pentacles in reverse is the devil in reverse the lovers in reverse and why this is happening is the king of wands in reverse crossed by the king of swords in reverse so Sagittarius dealing with a Capricorn or Gemini um I see a situation here where Someone here wasn't really trying to build with you the way you were trying to build with them. It was almost like what you wanted, this person wanted two different things, right? Um, two different paths. Because you were not on the same page with this person. 
This person had ulterior motives, right? Could have been very selfish, right? All about themselves. And so the devil could be the reason why this person acted selfishly or recklessly or you know may have caused a separation between the both of you because the devil is right in the middle of their reading and their energy and so whoever you're dealing with they may have needed to cut ties with something that wasn't working for them this could be a way of thinking a thought process a person in their life right that may have been restricting them or causing them to divide from you or, or causing divisions between you and them and i even feel with this lovers in reverse there was a really strong connection despite your person you know maybe saying otherwise but the lovers is indicating of a decision and i feel like your person made a decision to maybe do what they wanted and not what was beneficial for the connection okay and so some of you guys you stopped Moving forward, this person, maybe you stop hearing from them. I'm getting uh, no communication with this person. This person could be very dishonest. As far as the outcome, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Four Cups. Some of you guys, you may receive some kind of communication from a... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this can happen very quickly. I also feel that Sagittarius, you're being that force of change that you've been wanting, okay? There's something about you moving forward. Some of you guys are moving toward a very secure option um, or, or a path for you. You may be embodying that Queen of Pentacles energy where you're very grounded, you're secure, you're not allowing someone to make you fluctuate or, or knock you off of your, your socks, your alignment. Um, and I feel like there's something here about a missed opportunity or rejection. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who may feel that way about you. It's certainly if they want to communicate and want some kind of change with you, they could be feeling as if you're rejecting them or um, there's been a missed opportunity, which could be the reason why they're wanting to communicate. So we're going to see what this is all about, okay? All right, especially if you're in that Queen of Pentacles energy, I can definitely see someone feeling like an opportunity has been missed because, you know, you're very stable, you're grounded, you're working yourself, you're like boss, okay? You're like boss status, right? So give me clarity on the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see for Sagittarius. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? The Magician and a Five of Swords. So I think that, you know, you're definitely working towards something secure, solid. You're manifesting maybe with someone in particular, Sagittarius. You wanted to create, you believe that you and this person had what it took to create this, uh, this very stable, beautiful opportunity. Some of you guys, family, commitment, whatever that may be. Um, but there was a lot of conflict, Five of Swords. It was almost like you were manifesting this with someone, but the more you manifested, the more conflict that it created in your life, right? So give me clarity on the page of swords. Some of you guys are finding out something. Ace of swords and the death in reverse. Wow. So <laughs> there's something happening in this current moment, Sagittarius, something that may have came to an end. You may be getting clarity that something here isn't really entirely done. The death in reverse could be indicating of transformation that had to take place. Um, there could have been an ending uh, and something that you didn't know why it ended and you could be finding that out. There's something that is coming out and being revealed to you with the Ace of Swords. This is a breakthrough. This is clarity. This is finally truth. And so um, you may be finding this out. Let's see. Why is the uh, Seven of Swords? The Seven of Swords in reverse is clarified by the Chariot in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel someone here is coming to clear the air with you. There could have been a situation where they lied, cheated, deceived you, okay, because of some kind of codependent connection they had in their life. It could be someone from their past. The Queen of Pentacles could be like a mother figure. It could be someone they had a home with, marriage with, divorce, right? There's something here where your person wasn't ready. Now, some of you guys are dealing with someone who has some trauma because of a past uh, feminine energy in their life it could be a mother figure it could be a romantic partner it doesn't have to be a female but it's telling me that something here did not work because this person may have had fears right there could have been something this person didn't tell you the seven of swords is it's telling me that there's some kind of explanation as to why this person has sabotaged this relationship and it could be something here about you know, them feeling as if that that option, that path wouldn't have made them happy. They were only thinking about themselves in that moment. And there's something about them feeling and being conflicted about the long-term stability and security of the connection. Therefore, something may have ended prematurely, okay? So we have Cancer, we have Scorpio energy. Give me clarity on the judgment, whatever this decision is about, whatever decision that was made in the past. I feel like this is that same decision that isn't entirely done. 
There's like that unfinished business. Yeah, Ace of Cups with the Eight of Swords. So it's telling me that after an ending has happened, this person has not stopped thinking about you. They've been in their head about this since then. I'm getting the energy of an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They've been in their head, anxiety, worries, fears, because this is someone here that even though there was an ending, they were thinking about this new beginning. And they weren't really done with this connection. In fact, it's like as soon as something ended, they were thinking, well, how am I going to come back in Sagittarius life, right? How am I going to make up for this? So... Definitely, it's telling me that something may have been faded with the world in reverse, okay? But it's telling me that it may have been the wrong timing. Like, you and this person connecting at the time may have not been a good time for this person to really come toward you and offer the love, the security that you need it. Why is the world in reverse? So it's like you were ready. You were ready, right? With the Queen of Wands energy, you're ready to move forward. You are a go-getter. And there's something about this person not being ready. I mean, we have the two swords. And the Nine of Cups in reverse, with the world in reverse, right? So there's someone here that things were not working out or moving forward in favor of this connection because someone here may have been indecisive. They could have been very confused about what they wanted, very, um, you know, not focused. And it could have been a really, really difficult decision that your person was challenged with. And they ultimately felt that, you know what, I don't know if I'm going to be happy in the long run. And so they may have questioned this connection. They may have questioned you. They may have questioned their feelings for you um, with the Nine of Cups, right? So let's see what's going on in the found, uh, I'm sorry, in your energy, right? Let's see what's going on with you. Some of you guys, you are at a distance from this person right now with the five of pentacles. Yeah. And you're at a distance from this person. It's kind of like you, it had to be this way. It's like a lot of you guys, you pulled back the three of wands and verse. You decided to stop waiting for this person. You decided for the universe to kind of just work things in your love life. You kind of just surrender, right? Because the five of wands, there was a lot of resistance. There was a lot of pushing and pulling, maybe a lot of competition, a lot of disappointment. And so by taking a step back, you're allowing things to kind of unfold the way it should, as hurtful as it may be, right? Um, so the three of wands and virtues maybe given up on the situation, decided to hold back, pull back. Why is the three of swords in reverse? It's allowing you to heal though, Sagittarius. The emperor in reverse and the wheel. A lot of you are saying that, you know, you didn't see change with this person. Maybe you didn't feel as if this person was ready to take leadership of the connection. There was a lot of, um, I'm getting just lost, right? This connection was lost and there was no direction. And so what it's telling me is that in order for things to change and move forward, in order for you to get to your 10 of cups here, you had to break away. As difficult as it was, you had to break away. You had to cut ties. But look what's happening. We have the wheel. We have some kind of fortune. We have some kind of change happening, manifesting in your life. And something that you may not be seeing, but the universe is working behind the scenes to allow this change to take place. So it looks like it's change that's going to happen for you that's bring a lot of good energy, right? It's moving in the right direction. So let's see what's going on with the Three of Pentacles. What is this Three of Pentacles in the verse? So we have the Page of Wands and the Moon. So Sagittarius is definitely energy here of someone here being very deceptive. We have the energy of secretive, um, very mysterious, hiding things. It could be repressed emotions. It also could be fears, doubts, insecurities that this person's hiding. There is some kind of communication coming in or a very small message. The Page of Wands could be like, uh, you know, a little fiery but it, it's passionate it's 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 small it could be like literally a text message or an email or dm but what the intention is is to i'm getting this person wants to overcome these fears that they've been or, or the walls they've been creating right in this connection because they realize that it's toxic they realize that it's keeping them from you um and, and distancing themselves from finding real love the lovers right distancing themselves and, and creating blockages between you and them and that's not what they want okay it's really not what they want so there is some kind of um energy being put to moving things in a new direction with you and them um and this could be really difficult for this person why is the double here could be a capricorn Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups in verse. The reason why it could be really difficult is because this person has a lot of burdens, a lot of heavy energy, a lot of forces against them that they're working against, okay, and, and releasing from this toxic tie. Some of you guys, it could be like a mother figure. It could be a romantic person, a partner from their past. Someone here... um 
who may have manipulated them, okay, I'm getting the Queen of Cups in verse, maybe very vengeful, upset with them. Um, and I even feel like there's some kind of emotional baggage from a past situation this person is trying to free themselves from in order to be able to be in a place where they can offer you love. Why is the Lover's card here? Gemini Energy. Queen of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So, yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles again as a challenge. We have it in your energy as well. They're, this person is trying to make a decision about you. You are the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius. They're trying to make a decision about a commitment with you, given that, um, <laughs> well, the challenge is that you're, you have your back turned toward them, right? Given the whole situation, it could be really difficult for this person to make a decision in um, coming towards you and offering a commitment now that you guys are where you are right now where there's a lot of distance, you guys are not on the same page, you turned your back, you've moved on, okay? And so it's telling me that, yeah, this person may want to communicate. Eight of Wands is some kind of communication, something quick coming through. What is this communication about with the Eight of Wands? So we have the King of Wands in verse, the King of Pentacles in verse, the Page of Cups. Now, some of you guys, your person is apologizing. Page of Cups, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to be this person for you. King of Pentacles in verse, I had too many responsibilities. I had too much on my plate. I wasn't in a financially secure place. I wasn't confident, right? King of Wands in verse could be your energy as well. Um, it's telling me this person has apology, a big old apology about why they couldn't be this person for you, why things couldn't move forward, why there may have been a lack of change. There is a missed opportunity. I feel like your person is coming to communicate to you because they don't want to miss out on that opportunity. Look at that. The star in reverse with the tower. So this tower is allowing for this change to happen because the tower, if you know anything about the tower and tarot, yeah, it's really uncomfortable to have to go through. It's destructive. It brings chaos and drama and misery, but it allows something to come crumbling down in order for a solid structure to be rebuilt. And what it's telling me is that this connection may have been rebuilt or built on a faulty structure, right? Popsicle sticks, and now it's breaking apart. And so in order for something to really be healed, to come together, um, it's telling me that this has to come down it has to crumble and so I feel like this tower moment could be something your person's going through and it's allowing them to realize their destructive behavior the things they have to free themselves from let go of in order to heal and have a healthy fulfilling loving relationship in order to have movement with you in order to be in a place where they can commit to you with the queen of pentacles right and so this person is looking at you and they're like well damn i really missed out i need to change eight of wands I need to change, I need to do better, I need to get my life together so I can be um, the person that Sagittarius has always desired and wanted me to be for them, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, offering stability, security, okay? So going back to the challenge for you guys, Sagittarius, the Ten of Pentacles, clarified by the Magician and the Five of Swords, there's still a lot of conflict here in the situation, but it's telling me the challenge is, can you get back to this Ten of Pentacles with this person? Is there an opportunity where you guys can rebuild this, rebuild the structure, right? And manifest this, create, okay? Is there still an opportunity here? So that is what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings for you, and I hope you have a great start to your week. All right, bye.